You may be wondering why is I looking this tired. I have been through three sessions. One at the Holy Land and two from two different uh, uh, interviewers. And um, that was the reason for our coming late. So on this note, I say we are so sorry. But um, like Jesus said, the Vikulish, I might say, Mahami. That is God has proposed that we will do. May God thank you, Lord. Amen. Yes, we were coming from the appearances. And um, I remember saying, keeping the feast is for all and appearances for the new. Even Jesus got the appearance at the age of 12. In Luke chapter 2, he began to be with the teachers and the doctors in the temple on, the, on one on an occasion of the feast. And um, his parents sought him, and the, when they got him, Mary said, Son, what have you done this to us? Don't you know, you are my, me and your father. I've gone all out to search for you. And he said, why search for me? Don't you know I must be in my father's business? What a lie. And I would say, everyone that had the marvel at his answers and understanding, they marvel. But you should know that that will give, it will be an eye opener for them to know or give an answer to their question. Is Joseph truly his father? But that's not what we are talking about. We're talking about the, the appearances. God decreed the appearances. The first one I say is for life. If Christ was not born, Christ cannot die. Let alone resurrect. So the true order, even in his electoral constitution, the first one, Christmas. Second one, Easter. Third one, harvest. Be sure if you miss the Christmas. What is the essence of the remaining two? When you miss it, he declared the appearances, and I told you, each appearance is for redemption. You are out to redeem something. The first appearance I says redeems your life. There are two, two lines to your life. Life. I tag it this way. Living life and living in life. To live life is to live by purpose. A lot of us are living, but out of purpose. We should know that no matter how good you are, no matter how, how well disposed God has been to you, when you refuse to be in purpose. When your life is not in purpose, your success will be a shame. Your success will be an error. To live life is to live according to purpose. To be governed that your life will be In the, in the scriptures, the handwriting of the prophecies that came before him, even since he was born. 
For his birth, he will be born in Bethlehem, Ephrata. There was a prophecy. For him going to Egypt, there was a prophecy. So everything according to the purpose. Christ, his life went in line with purpose. That is living life. And nobody can live life except you are led by the Spirit. Except you have the Spirit of God to live life. You must have a Spirit. Now, coming to, to the appearance, you are here so that whatever, it, whichever way it comes, the encounter for you to buy back the purpose of your life is now. You have been living under stress. You have been living with ailments and diseases. You have been living in so many ways out of purpose. If the purpose of your life is for you to bring up or raise a nation and you are there fighting for to build a house, you know you are out of order. The, the, the appearance at this time, through this appearance, God is saying, I am here to give you two things. One, I want to give back the purpose for your life. Why is this appearance so important? Have you forgotten that the day God told Adam, in the day you eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, you shall surely die. God never continued to say, and you shall live again. But the life we had is the life that he brought. Because the purpose of God would not change. Sin has its punishment. Sin has its uh, 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 judgment. Sin has its accusation. But the three, both the accusation, the judgment, and the punishment were met in one person. Who paid the price? But first, his life was led according to purpose. You read until he says, when the angel told him to come to, go back to Israel from Egypt. And he came and, he's, and Joseph knew that Achilles became the king instead of Herod his father. What did he do? He went in a part of Nazareth that the, it might be said, that it might be fulfilled, that which was said by the prophet, he shall be called a Nazarene. Do you understand that? That even when he was a child, a babe, that he could not think for himself, the purpose for which he came ran through him. He was going through the purpose. There was no way he went out on purpose. He was not brought back. So when God said, you shall surely die, that ends the life of man. But in him, life was restored again. Hope came. If God had said, you shall surely die, a man died. And there was no hope for man. But his birth brought a fulfillment of the hope. When, when God told Isaiah, ask to tell us, ask a sign of the Lord. And I said, I will not ask or tell the Lord. And God said, The Lord, Isaiah said, The Lord himself will give you a sign. A virgin shall conceive and shall bring forth a son. And you shall call his name Emmanuel. The virgin conception. That's another topic on the soul. That brought life. The virgin conception. Therefore, the Lord Himself yes. shall give you a sign. Isaiah chapter 7, yes. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. 
Yeah. Butter and honey shall be. That one, virgin conception, is the totality of the mysteries of God in power. The virgin conception is the, to the that encapsulates the totality of the mystery of God in power. Because the Bible says, what the eyes have not seen, nor the ears had, nor has ever come into the conception of the heart of man, are the things that God prepared to those who love him. God prepared what is not seen, what is not had. Anything not seen, nor had, nor thought of, is virgin when it comes out. It's brand new. This is the time for God to bring back the virginity of your youth in purpose. This is the time. I say that's when you say you live life. A lot of people achieve so many things. To live life, whatever achievement you achieve, that has no bearing with your heaven. It's not life. They are all death. You built a house. You bought cars. You. You are a preacher of the word of God. You, whatever thing that does not conform to the assignment for which you came is a miss. It's an, an assignment in error. So to live life is to have the spirit that gave rise to the purpose, that knew the purpose for which you came. To have the spirit that will lead you. In the no one that the Bible says, those who are led by the spirit of God are point. Because we would we would do ourselves a great um, deal in, in making these things open to us. To live life. Live in Christ. To live life. Live according to the truth of purpose. This is what Apostle Paul was explaining when he said in Ephesians chapter 1, According to his good pleasure, which he proposed in himself, yes, 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 we obtain inheritance. We are predestinated. According to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. The purpose of him that worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. You talk about the word of God. I've, I've always thought that when you say the word, you are talking about two things. The thoughts, the intents, the counsel. One. The voice. Two. There is the thought that has no voice. The moment you put voice to your thoughts, it becomes a word. 
God worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. He, brought, he wants to bring every man to purpose. So if you are, if you are called to walk in a way, You can. You have forgotten. The, there is no portion in the Bible that teaches you to believe in yourself. Christ in you first. The greater and the lesser first. That's the equation of glory. So to live life is for you to live according to the purpose for which Life. The rich man never lived life. I said there are two legs in the first redemption of life. To live life and to live in life. Live life, I've just explained. We will, when we get back to Lagos, we would we will say more. Would we'll take the question maybe on Saturday, God willing, would we'll open up now to live in life, live in life. What does that mean? What will give you that? To live in life is to be successful in the purpose. How would you be successful? God told Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8, this book of the law must not depart out of your mouth, and you shall meditate one, bearing day and night, that you may observe two, Observe two to, to do three. Meditate, observe, and do according to what is written therein. For that is when you make your way prosperous, and, and then thou shalt have good you success. shall have good success. What a life! To live in life, you meditate, you observe, and do. <coughs> These are things we quote, but we do not understand. You did see God in the in that hand that said. I am the Lord that teaches you to profit and I lead you in the way you should go. The Lord that leadeth you in the way you should go, I teach you to profit. Don't forget he said it again, Isaac. And your children shall all be taught of God. What is the essence of the teaching? So that they may profit. What if we are not, um, we didn't give ourselves to what he taught us? We lose the profit. That's the way for us. Losing the picture of living life. Jesus said the life of a man does not consist in the world he amasses. The life of a man does not consist in the world he 
So it's not how much money you had. It's not how much, um, uh, how, how many houses you built. It's not um, what is in your account. It's not how many cars you had. It's not how many uh, uh, accounts you have lose. It, it, no. So for God to lead you in the way to profit, the way to profit is in your purpose. Part of it, he said, one, I am the Lord that teaches you that that teaches you to profit. And I lead you the way you should go. Just to, I teach profit. I lead you. To be led makes you the son. And if you are the son, you automatically live in life. And to profit gives you the audacity to live in life. You are not, you are not given to any other. There are no alternatives. Life is sure with God. No matter where you look at it from, life is sure with God. No matter how you place it, life is sure with God. But the truth of the matter is you are here to redeem your life in the first appearance. God should give you back your life, your purpose first, and two, the accomplishment of that purpose. To live life and to live in life. A lot of us are here out of purpose. We struggle through life. We do. We are stuck. We do so many things. But God is not concerned. God will look and watch. Because that is not his purpose. He will bless you, he said to. To be blessed is not to learn to lose. Also, my blessing I give to you. Blessing I've given to you. Not as the word gives. But before you get into that, you must have your purpose back. So when we look at the journey now, we are thinking purpose and being successful in the purpose. Redeem that which pertains to your purpose. Redeem that which pertains to your profit according to purpose. Imagine Jacob. While Esau will struggle, Jacob sat at home. And the purpose for which he came was established. No wonder God said, Solomon said, the blessing of the Lord make it rich and added no soul. God led the path of Jacob unto Isaac. And as he gave him the blessing, the blessings of the firstborn, without stress. Because God already told the woman. Romans chapter 9. This is the Apostle Paul puts it. Succinctly. Succinctly. He said, from verse 11. Go from verse 9. But this is the word of promise. This is the word of promise. At this time I will come. And Sarah shall have a son. And Sarah shall have a son. And not only this. Not only this. But when Rebecca also had conceived by one. But when Rebecca also have conceived by one. Even by our father Isaac. By Isaac. The children be not yet born. The children be not yet born. Neither having done any good or evil. Neither having done any good or no evil. That the purpose of God according that to the election. purpose according to election. My stand. Not of words. No, 
not of works, but of him that, him that call it. He was said to Rebecca, the elder shall serve the younger. How, how easy was it for Esau to sell his birthright? How easy was it to, for Jacob to enter into the his father Isaac and receive the blessing? This feast, appearing in this feast, gives you the two. <coughs> the purpose and the blessings of the purpose. This is the only sense of this appearance. Don't refuse the call. Not of works, but of feed that collect. It's a call. God knew what he knows. God has his way. The joy is he has called you to this feast or to this appearance. Would you rather appear before him and have your encounter? Anna appeared. He has, he had, she had an encounter. Are you here to appear at this feast for your encounter? Or you are just here to roam about, to make friends, to see people, instead of getting to know the one who has called you? I guess when you go to a place, you look for the person who called you to the place so that you can feel part of the event. Yes. And after they had drunk. She ate and drank. But she saw that is not the reason for which I came. She saw there is a need. I need to spread out the, my life spreadsheet. So that God can attend to it. And he spread it out. She spread it out. And God looked at it and God said, no of a truth. There is a need here. And God entered into the need and satisfied the need and gave us Samuel. I always thank God my name is Samuel. I always thank God. God gave us Samuel who, who occupied until the kings. He was a judge, was a priest, he was a prophet. Three offices in one man. The judge, the priest, because he offered sacrifice. The prophet. <laughs> three in all. And there has not been anyone that occupied in the three. Don't you see how God feels the need? When, they, when Paul said, and uh, my God shall supply all your need. You don't know what that means. You don't know how to appreciate that. The truth of God is abiding. God is ever faithful to his word. Let not this appearance be like every other appearances that you have done in the past. This is the first leg. I beg you. I call to you. I beseech you. Join in the actual say of his presence, so that you will be a partaker of the encounter for which this feast is called. May God be with us. In all things, may the one that has called us to life grant us to live life and to live in life. Amen. I pray for everyone that will come. Especially 
those who will appear before God this year. That that encounter that you need for the two turn around. So that your life will meet its essence. God will grant unto all of us. And for everyone that is watching, I pray, in the journey, you shall not be a loser. Amen, Jesus Christ. That which pertains to each of us, God will grant unto us. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Eto fi fe kwa wabo. To mwa wala te shi. La ti tu wasi more. Pa kwa ni amondu yi o ti mu wali bo kwe gba yi wabo. Or a model loss of Abraham. When you are model, you to Padawa. Tara, you love. Or a no man, you record ya. Ni boni, Lady Ayewawa. In what till you move off one about Dudu. Deki, Lady Ayewa, go by your ticket. Ni fa odun yi odun keji le logoji o din logoji izeli ni odun meji din logoji lofo okun alaro egba o wa ni eti odo betesda ni odun meji din logoji ijo mo se odun meji din logoji lai si ni pa emi e la lai ni pa emi a rin bo ti wa leyin ku omo re oba ododo mo iran ti wa fun ijo mimo mo iran ti wa fun ori kokon ibi baba ni farawon yi mo ireti ogo wa je jade ja ki isogo ifere ko dimo laye wa o ti to eri e je ko du ofu wa ma je ka wa lofo ma je ka pada lasan je ka lo ni eku rere ka yo ni fe re loruko jesu lo amen amen meji hallelujah 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 hallelujah